this brief tutorial, we're going to describe the overall design behind our Pong game. We're going to describe the different classes, which ones reside inside one another, and also what happens when the game first starts up, and the sequence in which these objects are created. In the design of our Pong game, we're going to be making use of a view class. But what is a view, and why do we need one? Let's draw an analogy. Imagine you're watching the Shakespearean play Macbeth. Like most of Shakespeare's plays, it has several acts and each act has several scenes. What defines a scene exactly? Well, in each scene we have typically a different set of actors combined with a unique arrangement of furniture and props. Here, for example, we see five different scenes being depicted. In the Android operating system, each scene can be thought of as its own view. In our Pong design, we're going to create a new view class called the Pong view. It's going to inherit from another class called Surface View. Surface View contains an abstract class called Surface Holder, but for the purposes of our design, we can think of it as a concrete object. It's important to understand that the Surface Holder's main job is to create a brand new canvas. This happens as soon as the Pong View constructor is invoked, as the first thing it does is calls the constructor on the parent class, in this case Surface View. As part of the construction of Surface View, the surface holder is created. However, the creation of a new surface inside surface holder takes a long time, so this essentially is handled as an asynchronous task. What happens is that the surface view constructor returns prematurely to Pong view so that the remaining parts of the Pong view class can be constructed. However, while this is going on, the surface holder is continuing to make its canvas. Once the canvas is done being created, the surface holder uses a callback function to alert the Pong view that the surface has now been created. Based on that callback function, the Pong view can then start the game and display it to the user. Looking at this diagram, let's talk briefly now about what each of these objects do. The Pong activity is the main activity for this game. It is invoked automatically by the app when the app first starts up. The Pong view is a special view that we create specifically for our Pong game. The advantage of using a view is that we can use the Pong view to create a special surface for our game. Once that surface is created, we can then launch a separate thread called the Pong thread. That allows the ball and the paddle to be controlled from separate threads, thus giving the illusion that the two are being controlled independently. Even though both of these objects reside in the game engine, the ball is essentially under the control of the yellow thread, while the paddle remains under the control of the Pong view or blue thread. It is important for you to understand that this is a containment hierarchy and not an inheritance hierarchy. Thus, this figure shows how the objects are inside one another, not how they inherit from one another. Now let's talk a little bit about the sequence during which the objects are created when the app first initializes. First, the onCreate method happens in the Pong activity. The Pong activity then calls its setContent view to change the view to the Pong view. The Pong view inherits from a class called Surface view, and Surface view contains an object called Surface Holder. When Pong view calls the constructor for Surface view, it automatically creates a Surface Holder object, which then creates a surface. When that surface is finished being created, which is an asynchronous task, a callback function is placed back to the Pong view. Only once the Pong view has received this callback function call does it know that it's safe to start the Pong thread, shown in event number 5 here. The Pong thread then executes the first update on the Pong game engine, and the game engine enters an infinite loop. The ball continues to move autonomously through this infinite loop. Although the paddle, shown here in black, resides inside the Pong game engine, it continues to be controlled ostensibly by the Pong view. Every time a button is pressed on the keyboard, the Pong view class senses this as an event and sends the on key down message to the paddle. Mm -hmm.